Welcome ladies and gentlemen for a new edition of our coding series We Code Wars. This is a 7Q kata and uh, let's get to understand the problem. Maximum triplet sum. I'm reading. Given an array list of in n integers, find maximum triplet sum in the array. So I'm break break down the solutions for you. If we are given an array like this, um, you have to return the sum of the maximum three. And here we have eight, six, and uh, three are the maximum numbers. So the sum of those three gives um seventeen. Let's look at this array below. The same thing. The sum of the maximum three is eight, six, and four. Those are the maximum three numbers in this array. Remember, we don't take duplicates, so we need to take care of that. This is the explanation. Is eight, six, and four. And for this particular example, the maximum three numbers is 12, 29, and 0. That means the others are completely negative. So um, the exercise also says um, the array will be given at least three numbers. So we don't need to worry about checking that. Uh, actually, I can deal with that rapidly. The first thing, we just check if the numbers given have a length of three, if that's the case. We return the sum automatically dot um, reduce accumulator x that's the first case now for the rest when the array is very long longer than three numbers i have to look for the last three uh the largest three numbers i'm going to do that by sorting so that the largest ones will be at the end so inside the sorted array i'm going to sort the array uh, using the sort function that is going to sort the array sorted and then i'm going to extract the last three biggest numbers so i'll have to create a, i'll create an array called to sum that is going to have the last three numbers to sum for right now it's going to be empty okay <coughs> it's empty now i'm going to loop the array starting from the very end so i have a for loop and the uh, iterator will be i i starts um, at the end that is at the uh, numbers dot um, length minus one that's the last index y is greater than zero minus minus now I'm going to check um, before checking I'm going to console lock the sorted array so that you can see what it's looking like is the variable sorted so the sorted array looks like this I'm going to get the last three numbers so here I'm going to get eight six three and put inside to sum. That's what I want to do. I'll also collect 13, 10, and 9 for this case. And for the case below, I'll collect 8, 6, and 4. Remember, they are not duplicates. Meaning, as I'm collecting each number I'm putting at to sum, I'll have to make sure that um, I don't collect the number twice. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to check if um, to sum doesn't include. So I want to say doesn't include, so I'm going to negate this. If it doesn't include the number at the index of i, I'm going to push that number inside to sum. I'll just call it to sum because it's the array I want to sum at the end. So I'm going to push that number inside and that number is some numbers of i. As I push, I automatically verify the length because it has to stop by length 3 so if uh, to sum arrives a length of 3 I'm going to automatically return and quit the for loop I'm going to automatically return the sum of that array using the reduce function so this is my um, accumulator just like to use it like that 
returns something like this I can comment this uh, console log and let's try our algorithm oops it works on the first try that's very rare okay let's submit the last submission and uh, we can submit and look at what others have done to this point don't forget to leave at the comment section or uh, other uh, ways we can do this or uh, optimize our algorithm uh, we can see here <coughs> this is very wise solution so he um, first of all converted to a set converting to a set is going to uh, eliminate duplicates automatically and this is the spread operator so he's going to pass all the numbers to a set and uh, it, will be, it will be converted to a set and then he does a spread operator on the set is going to be reconverted to an array so this is going to form an array of non-duplicate numbers and then he sorts in the reverse order that is from the from highest to lowest <coughs> and then he does a destructuring so since it's from highest to lowest the last the highest um three numbers will be first so he destructures them into three variables a b and c and the rest of the numbers he puts in a variable calls called rest and then he returns the sum this is actually very wise solution it's very clever all right and let's look at the next um it starts about the same he's going to convert the numbers to a set so here the solution above he could have um, just written numbers instead of uh, spreading again here so here this is what he does he converts to a set and spreads it so that it becomes an array of on uh, non-duplicate numbers and then he sorts in an increasing order like we did not the decreasing like the one up you can see the difference this is a minus b up and this is is b minus a up and down is a minus b <coughs> so this is going to sort in increasing order just like we sorted and then he slices and removes the last three and does the sum of those last three okay now this is the same as the solution of just written in more than one line oh what is this the filter you see so he starts by sorting just like we did and then he filters I don't think I understand it right away I need to execute and do some console log to understand it okay well you get the point I don't understand this one until I will write some echo because I need to check what is the last index of uh, this number and theta and stuff. All right, now most of the solutions is around creating a set, um, sorting. Almost everybody sorts also, and then extracting um, the biggest number either by slicing or by uh, destructuring like the first scenario well this is what i got for you today and thanks for watching and see you on another video